hands down, eyes up. You guys know how I love starting off a lesson with a picture. You know how I really like pictures. So um, I tried to outdo myself today. I have more than one picture for you. Actually, I have several. Um, I'm going to start with, let me press the right button there. I'm going to start with this one. Now, uh, can anyone tell, what is this? Uh, this is the inside of a submarine, and this guy's looking through a particular object. A oh, periscope, thank you very much. I even put the other end of it so it's a little more obvious, okay? A periscope's job is to see around things, right? In this case, like the rest of the submarine and the water that's in the way. That's what a periscope does. It sees around things, okay? This image, probably less familiar, but I've got some words here to help you out, right? Every human being has a nervous system. A nervous system, that's how you sense things around you. Um, you've got the brain, your spinal cord, and that's what they call the central nervous system. It's right there, literally in the middle. But then do you notice, you know, if you just take your hand and like poke it, can you poke it for a second? You can feel that, right? And you can feel that, or yeah, maybe don't do it too hard, okay? You've got nerves there in your hand, and your fingers as well. You've got nerves all the way through the rest of your body, and they're not in the center. And that's why we call them there, do you, can you read that? Is it a bit faint? It's the peripheral nervous system, okay? In other words, it's not at the center, it's all of the nerves you've got around the rest of your body, okay? So, periscope, peripheral. Um, yeah, no, any other words that start with peri? Hmm. Um, I, I went and looked this up on Google and I found this, which was not helpful. I was like, that's, that's, that's not what I mean, okay? Uh, I want you to think about these two. These are the ones I really mean, right? A periscope sees around things. When something is peripheral, it's around the edges of it. Um, you can even talk about peripheral vision, for instance. My peripheral vision is awful because I wear glasses and everything outside of my glasses I can't see very well. Okay? So I want you to think, is there a mathematical word you know that starts off the same way? Harrison. Perimeter. Perimeter. Thank you very much. That's the heading that I would like you all to make. Perimeter. <laughs> I wonder how quickly you worked out it was that I was going to talk about that. <laughs> Perimeter. Now, if a periscope is about seeing around something and peripheral, like the peripheral nervous system, is the nervous system around the edges of our body, what would you guess perimeter means? Yeah, Annabelle. Very good. It's kind of like this is around, right? And if you measure, that's what meter means, measure around, then what you've got is the length outside of the shape, right? So perimeter literally means, not all words are like this, some words are really like, like peri-peri, I don't know what that means, maybe in another language. But perimeter thankfully means exactly what it says. It's equal to what it is, is the length that you measure around a shape, or on the outside, if you like on the outside. Now, I'm going to sort of scoot past most of the basics about this because you've had a look at this last year in year seven um, and even in primary school you had a look at the idea of perimeter. Can you draw a shape for me please on your page, any shape you like, uh, maybe about the size of, hmm, let's call it like half of your palm, okay? And I'm literally going to make it any shape you want. Triangle, rectangle, I am going to advise that you have something with straight edges, a polygon, um, because this is just going to be easier for you in a second. Um, and if you have, <laughs> he drew a circle, good job Levan. Um, if you have a ruler, please get it out. If you don't have a ruler, Mrs. Lee's already has read my mind, so just shoot your hand up and she'll bring one around. And I would love you to measure the perimeter of the shape that you draw. Can you do that? Measure the perimeter of the shape that you draw. Okay, now I let you draw any shape that you like. Triangle, pentagon, hexagon, whatever you want. But with that ruler, what I'd love you to do is can you please get your physical mirror ruler out, measure each length, and as you can see what I've done is um, I measured each one and then I labeled the length of that side on the side itself, okay? Um, those of you who drew triangles for yourselves are going to be like, yes, I have less things to measure, but um, that doesn't make it necessarily easier. If you've got a square, if you've got a rectangle or a trapezium, measure the lengths. And then for your particular shape, I want us to write down the bottom, right? Perimeter equals. And then what I'd like you to do is to say to yourself, well, I've, I've measured all of them. And if perimeter means the length that goes all the way around the outside of the shape, 
What am I going to have to do to, in my case, I've got a quadrilateral. What am I going to do to my four numbers? You go ahead. Thank you very much. I'm going to add this, 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 and this. And I'd love you to write that down as well. Write the actual numbers, not just the answer. And then we'll calculate it in a second. But of course, we're all going to have something slightly different. Oh, can I do this in my head? What do you reckon? 39... 59, 66, 66, 111? What do you think? Someone with a calculator is going to tell me if I'm right or not. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you want to check me out, Levan? <laughs> You've got, you got much smaller shapes, obviously. Okay, so what I'd love you to have is your shape. Your shape, is it? Yay, I can still do arithmetic. Okay, you want to have your shape, all of your measurements. Then I'd love you to write perimeter equals and then show me your measurements all adding up together because that's the essence behind perimeter, okay? All right, now, I just want to give you two quick notes because again, you've seen perimeter before, but I just want to remind you of two particular things to watch out for. Um, I'm going to get another color. And I'd love you to jot them down um, underneath or around your diagram, okay? Firstly, perimeter, it needs to have all the lengths on the outside. It needs to have all the lengths on the outside. Actually, I should have written that too. Because otherwise we don't have the entire perimeter. Now, that means sometimes if, for example, you don't have all the lengths, it won't do just to add all the numbers that you can see to have the perimeter. You really need every single number there. You're going to encounter some questions where they don't provide you every single length. You have to work some of them out using some of your knowledge of the properties of a shape. Maybe you're going to have to use Pythagoras, if you remember that right angle triangles. So you need all the lengths. But also importantly, can you watch this for a second? Just watch. You don't necessarily need every single number that's written on the diagram. For instance, suppose I just decided, because I wanted to, to measure this diagonal. It looks about 35 centimeters to me, okay? Now you might see a diagram and it's got all kinds of numbers on it and perimeter's like, oh, I want all the lengths. And then you add up 35 along with your other ones. Why is there no reason to add up the 35? Yeah, here. Yeah, very good. It's from the definition, right? Just because the number's there doesn't mean you have to add it. So you want to look carefully at the lengths they provide you and don't just blindly add everything. So that was the first thing about all the lengths. I've got one other thing, and hopefully you put this on your diagram like it did in mine, need a colour, and that's units. Now, what unit have you chosen to measure yours in? Yep. Have you done has anyone done anything other than centimetres? Anyone? We've all gone with centimetres, maybe because of the size of the ruler that we have. But you're going to see objects which have all different kinds of measurements, not just centimetres. What else might they see? Metres, what else? Millimetres. Bigger? Kilometres, okay. If they want to be really old-fashioned, they could throw inches and feet at you, okay. Now this is important. So just make a little note for units. Um, I'll put it here, on the side here. Okay, I want to say two things about units. Number one, watch out they might be different. Because for instance, let's have a look at the one that I've drawn up here on the board. I wrote 24 centimeters here, but I didn't have to. I could have just as easily have written, what would that be in millimeters? 240 millimeters. That would still be the length of that side. But of course, if I went to my calculator and I added 15, 45, 27 and 240, then I'm not going to get the right answer, am I? Because I've mixed up my units. So watch out that they are the same. Sometimes you might need to change them, just like Merrick did with his uh, decimal and his fraction. Um, and the last thing is, please include them. Can you have a look at my answer up here on the board? And notice how I've written the units in here, right? Had I written my final line as just 111, that isn't the perimeter because it could be 111 kilometers or 111 millimeters. The units are really important. So please make sure not only do you watch out for them, but actually include them, okay? So we said something about all the lengths, we said something about the units. I think you're okay to have a go at this unless you have questions. Um, um, like, can you write somehow that instead of writing 
for example, centimeters on every each of them. Yep. Can you just write on the side like all of them are in centimeters? So that's a great question. By the way, can I ever, get everyone to look up for a second? Because that was such an important question. I want everyone to make sure they heard it. The question was. Do we have to write centimeters every single time? Like it's a little bit tiresome, right? Now, I'll show you, I'll tell you the reason why I wrote centimeters every time. The reason is I'm really forgetful and when I don't write centimeters early on, I like forget about it and then I'm just, I'm so happy I got the right number that I then move on. So I'm going to encourage you to put the lengths in. If you don't want to write centimeters every single time, probably the best way to write this is to have all of the numbers and then say, hey, you know what, all of them, they're all centimeters. Because at least that way you've got the units. Um, I know a lot of people are just going to do this. Um, they're just going to put the numbers and then do some calculations and then magically centimeters will appear at the bottom. Um, if you do that, I'm, I can't stop you, but I feel like it's number one, putting yourself in the at the mercy of your own memory like are you going to remember to do it at the end and number two it's just kind of weird that centimeters appeared at, like who plays pokemon here is anyone play pokemon right you know it's like a wild centimeters appeared like what is that about like that just seems strange that it appears out of nowhere okay 